there's this story from the second century and we all know it the, the lion with the thorn in its paw there's a slave a runaway slave in ancient Rome by the name of Androcolus right so Androcolus is a runaway slave and while he runs away from his master he hides in a cave but while he's hiding in the fucking cave he's like oh fuck there's a lion in this cave as well and the lion's a prick the lion is just like lions aren't sound anyway but this particular lion in the cave is very very angry there's no talking with him he's furious and he's snapping his teeth and lashing out his claws and all this shit and while the lion is doing this and Dracula notices ah oh fuck it the poor cunt's paw is bleeding and he looks closer at the lion's paw and he sees that there's this fucking huge thorn in the lion's paw now the lion meanwhile hasn't a clue he knows his paw is sore he's angry because of this he's a lion so he doesn't have hands he can't take it out himself so Androcolus slowly moves towards the lion and reaches and grabs the big thorn and pulls it out. Now this is agonising for the lion to pull it out, but he does it. And then the lion goes, Fuck it. I feel relief. I don't feel pain anymore. I'm not angry. So the lion goes, This Androcolus fella is sound. Thanks for that, man. And they become friends. And the lion becomes tame. And he starts to share food with Androcolus. And Androcolus is allowed to have shelter for a few days in the lion's cave and they're friends with each other. And then Androcolus says, Right, I'm a runaway slave. I can't stick around here for too long. Thank you so much for letting me use your cave, Mr. Lion. I gotta fuck off and get the fuck away from here because they're looking for me. So after Androcolus leaves the lion's cave, he's caught by the Romans. The Romans catch him. And being a runaway slave back then, the punishment for that is quite harsh so the Romans catch him they bring him back into town and the emperor says fucking runaway slave you prick I sentence you to death so they bring Androcolus to a pit where he's to be eaten by lions as his execution so what happens the fucking lion that turns up to eat him the Romans had just caught him after they caught Androcolus and it's the lion that he tore the, the thorn out of his paw. So now the Romans are watching. They're rubbing their hands together going, well, hey, can't wait to see this slave get eaten by this lion. But then the lion is like, fuck that, I'm not eating him. That's Androcolus, he's my pal. He helped me out. I'm not eating him. No way. Not a chance. Now the Romans are going, what the fuck? It's a lion. The lion won't eat the slave. This, why, we, we've never seen this before. So they're so impressed they're just like look this just must be divine intervention the lion wouldn't eat him they're, they're cuddling with each other look leave him go leave him go some higher power has in, in, intervened here so the Romans just say to Androcolus look fuck off you're free here's a leash take the lion with you now he's your pet and Androcolus and the lion just walk off into the distance as friends forever <laughs> 